I went down to a bowl game down in Florida, and you know Michigan was playing uh, Alabama, and we just got our butts kicked. But I sat in uh, like the second row, and it was uh, my daughter, you know Libby. She was on the Michigan dance team, and it was one. Of, it was going to be her last bowl game. And so, even though we lost, it was a win to see her in that environment. And so, so awesome. I got back home and um, got called into a meeting. We, I uh, was the coordinator for our company for EOS, and it's a, a you know a process and how to run a company and run meetings. And I got called into a room, and all of a sudden it was, uh, hey, we uh, we're gonna go a different way. And I did not see that coming. There were no signs. And so I totally was, uh, my, my legs were taken out from under me. You come from this high of seeing your daughter in her last bowl <laughs> game, Florida. That's got to be an awesome experience, too. Yeah. And so, you know, I and, I and like anything I've ever handled, I do it with, you know, I, I was grateful for, you know, 12 years of, of, of the, and all the people I hired and trained and developed and, but there I am, and I'm, okay, what do I do now? And then all of a sudden, like two weeks later, we got this huge pandemic. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what timing. but I really do believe everything happened for a purpose. Mm -hmm. It gave me time to pause, which I think, you know, if you are to look at a few benefits of the pandemic, it made everybody pause. Life really uh, kind of just... I can't say that enough. Yeah, I mean, and so I, I, I interviewed with some companies. I've traveled, uh, you know, to Indiana to interview with a company. And I even got a job offer, but it just didn't resonate with me because mm -hmm. I'd already done that. Yeah. I've already been in that role. And I already had a career. I spent 17 plus years at General Motors, wonderful relationships, moved across the country. And then I spent 12 years at a staffing firm and run the operations with that. And so I really was soul searching and, you know, God puts people in your life. Um, I, I truly believe that. And so um, I love to work. I love to work with people. Relationships have always been just the key to what I do. And and so I really took a, a, a hard look and some soul searching and did some processes about what is my vision and purpose. I still want to work. I don't know if I'll ever retire. Yeah. I mean, it's so... Well, when you love what you do, right? Right, right, if you find the passion. So, like I said, things happen for a reason. All of a sudden, I had somebody reach out to me on LinkedIn and said, have you ever considered owning a franchise? And I'm like, I'm not doing that. And, but in part of this discovery process, I wasn't going to close the door on everybody. I was going to at least listen to them. Yeah. And so uh, this gentleman, I just clicked with him, and he presented three different offers to me. One was uh, doing like Belfour does and go in and clean up after a fire or a flood. And he said it matches your profile. And after I met with that company, I'm like, oh, my goodness. You know, relationships, being there for people when they need you. It really did click, and I considered it, which was kind of funny. And the other two were around what I think my gift is and, and or that I have some gifts in, and that was coaching and mentoring. Mm -hmm. And so I found Focal Point. Um, I talked to 20 people at the company. I really enjoyed their core values, their consistency. And, and, and I knew I wanted to help other companies and other people, other leaders. I had the life experience to do it, but I really felt like I needed the structure. Yeah. And this mm -hmm. company, they have 40 years of Brian Tracy's learnings and teachings. Uncle Brian. Um, yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> He's still out there doing his thing. And so I've been on this journey and I really felt, all right, this isn't a career anymore. This is kind of a calling because it's my passion. Yeah. Really, I've uh, just done a ton of networking and people like yourself who have, you know, started up your own business and, you know, you shared some of your learnings with me and that was so helpful. And I met yeah. with other coaches and, 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 and some of the key things that I've learned is, Everyone needs a coach. Mm -hmm. If you want mm -hmm. to really perform, you need someone else looking at what you're doing or what you're trying to accomplish because you get blinders on. You get that tunnel vision. Yeah, for sure. And all of us need to get pushed out of your comfort zone. I thought I was going to retire at my last position. 
but I also knew that there was something more.